Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for end of day trading session, the Tuesday, 22nd of August 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so let's look at the stats for European session here. Uh, the FTSE 100 finishes up 62 points, pretty impressive, 0.8% higher. The German DAX, a whopping 160 odd points, very impressive. On the back of a weaker euro, the French CAG certainly rising as well, whilst the FTSE mid finishes in the uh, red. IBEX and stock 600 both rising for the day. Okay, so uh, even though we had ZEW data out of the uh, out of Germany coming in weaker than expected, that still did, did not stop the um, the actual uh, German DAX moving higher. On the back of obviously US market rally or US equity market rally, although Asian markets certainly were subdued with the Nikkei finishing negative whilst the Shanghai finishing slightly positive, although the Hang Seng certainly was higher. Okay, so we had strong earnings from, uh, from BHP and Antofagasta. That certainly did uh, help uh, sentiment. Okay, also uh, PSMBR surplus and US UK factory output as well, certainly coming in stronger than expected. CBI data certainly coming in stronger than expected. Okay, uh, but nevertheless, uh, the fact that uh, the euro and sterling certainly fell today, that really was the main culprit for the European market rally. Also stronger earnings as well, like I said, from the miners. But having said that, the argument against that was Provident Financial uh, down due to subprime concerns, okay, uh, subprime loan concerns. So again, that certainly does rekindle uh, the uh, the fear that is uh, surrounding uh, non-performing loans. Uh, again, certainly that's certainly something to consider, especially with UK financial sector under pressure. And, and the FTSE will be uh, remaining under pressure for uh, for the uh, for the next two to three days, from my perspective, anyway. Okay, so that really is the status quo. Uh, U US equity is certainly running as well. Uh, very impressive short squeeze on the Nasdaq. The Nasdaq itself uh, certainly has uh, pushed higher. Let's just have a look here on the Nasdaq. You can see a, a whopping uh, a gap higher. You can look at a, a potentially. Uh, a 60 or 70 point rally on the on the Nasdaq itself. So again, an impressive rally, an impressive uh, thrust higher on US equities. OK, right. Uh, so the next potential move uh, in terms of uh, the technical picture, let's just quickly look at the German DAX here. The German DAX, you can see here, gapped higher, left an unfilled gap below. Certainly closed the gap at 12,200 as well. And I've actually pushed higher even further. OK. 10 minute chart at the moment you are looking at resistance currently here and here so we have 12 300 you have resistance at 12 to 90 okay that really is the next potential resistance we've closed gap fill here we do have horizontal resistance here for the interim so let's just see if that actually holds and plays out but very impressive you can see here 12 uh, 0, 060 up to 12 to 30 today an impressive, impressive move on the uh, German DAX. We close this gap and we just didn't look back. Okay, so even though ZDW numbers, ZDW data certainly came in on the weaker side, that still fa failed to deter the uh, the actual German DAX from moving higher. If you look at the French calculus, although we have labor concerns, labor reform concerns, uh, the uh, situation in France, especially with regards to Mr. Macron's approval rating, certainly deteriorating uh, at present, and yet that still failed to to deter the uh, the French CAC from moving higher on the back of a weaker euro as well. So a lot of it really is a potential uh, front running of uh, uh, Mr. Draghi uh, in Jackson Hole. Now last week we had the leak with regards to uh, a, uh, Mr. Draghi maintaining his dovey stance and then obviously we, we had the dollar moving lower and then the potential leak being questioned, hence the reason why the euro went above the 1.18 level. Now the euro fell below the 1.18 level and uh, certainly has sent European equities flying higher. So let's see how we uh, respond here. We are looking for gap fill resistance around the 5145. That will be a key resistance for now. We've held 5137 uh, resistance and let's see how the market reacts to that. Okay, so my bias certainly remains bearish on the French CAC due to the concerns uh, with regards to Mr. Macron and his support certainly uh, withering away. Okay, so again, Looking for further weakness on the French CAC, okay? Uh, and also the euro, keep an eye on the euro and the reaction there. Let's move on to the FTSE 100 now. Okay, so FTSE 100 actually went and closed the gap at uh, 7,390. It certainly seems like the market was certainly focusing in on that gap. 
uh, certainly did actually eventually close it okay in the end as you can see uh, we certainly bounced off at 7300 only to close the gap at 7390 60 minute chart now you are into that fib 61 percent resistance we've taken out this key diagonal trend line okay so for now you're looking at gap fill okay if the market breaks higher than the next potential key resistance is seen at 200 ma at 7415 okay then you are looking at resistance at 7440 so let's see if we can actually attempt to touch that okay uh, it has been a very impressive rally though very very impressive rally on the footsie uh, led mainly by the the likes of the uh, uh, strong earnings from miners okay uh, again i'm not going to go into the sectors but it has been very impressive and we are now into gap fill resistance the daily chart at the moment you have the uh, red candle upper body okay so certainly looking to hold that at 7380 see expect it to hold resistance there if obviously you push higher then you are looking at 7440 next and then uh, the moves in the us equities obviously will, will dictate as well uh, at the moment let's just quickly look at the s p 500 from my perspective it certainly seems very overstretched here now okay on the 10 minute chart you've certainly gapped higher from 2428 you're currently at 2448 i mean that's a, that's a very impressive move uh, up almost 20 plus handles on the s p 500 on the back of what uh, we haven't really had any major uh, fundamental news flow other than the fact that obviously mr trump has announced this Af afghan war uh, North Korean saber rattling certainly started today as well, again, okay, and yet the uh, equity markets have totally ignored that altogether. So, interesting, okay, whether this is some sort of positioning prior prior to Jackson Hole, whether it's insider trading, I don't know yet, okay. It'll be interesting to see exactly what comes out of Jackson Hole on turn th I think it's Thursday, uh, and uh, obviously we'll react accordingly then. Okay, so uh, last but not least, quickly look at Euro stocks. Euro stocks very impressive thrust as well again today. As you can see here, pushed higher into gap fill. Gap fill is currently at 3460 and looking at a potential cap there as well. Certainly inverted head and shoulders kicking in, okay? And we could potentially even hit the 3480 and then 3500. So let's see how that unfolds. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your training needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye.